All right, hey everyone. So we're gonna do a quick little test here. Uh, I was asked by a company on, um, I was emailed by a company on Amazon. They're called AutoCon about their nano ceramic coating if I'd be willing to test it out. And so there's a gonna, I'll, I'll just come up here real fast uh, to show you in the Camaro. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this um, black sail panel right here. I'm gonna put it on this uh, driver side here. Uh, I'm not even gonna uh, clay it. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and polish it because most of the time this car spends its life in the garage. So I'm gonna just polish it with NSP95, wipe it off, and then we're gonna apply the coating in here. So I'm gonna open up the coating and see what's in here. Um, but it has these numbers on here, plus 20% persistence, plus 25% purity, plus 25% gloss. I have no idea what that means, but we'll look at it here. Autocon nano ceramic coating features a high mirror gloss finish, strong anti-scratch and abrasion resistance, oxidation and corrosion resistance, UV and weather resistance, chemical and environmental fallout resistance. Prep work is very important, which can be called paint correction. We have made a simple instruction inside the package to teach us, you a know, step-by-step if you want more detailed operation. There are a lot of teaching videos on YouTube. So it's a 30 mil bottle and they're saying a shelf life of five years. Um, made in China. So this is probably one of those Chinese coatings. I don't know if this has ever been um, tested or anything but I'm gonna go ahead and just open up the, the package here so I just received it like a couple days ago and it's just I just had it sitting here um, and so I was like oh, let me try a, a section here and see how this performs let me put this in the trash can here the trash bag and we'll see what's in here okay so you get the two-part uh, packaging I'm gonna sit down for this here Okay, so here's the packaging here, and then you get this container, uh, which has a real nice package. So in here you get the instruction on how to apply. We'll take a look at that. You get the bottle, if I can get it out of here. So I don't know, you guys can tell me which company uses this type of um, bottle. I am not familiar with all those Chinese coatings. I primarily stick to name brand coatings. Uh, so it looks like they give you... Uh, so I guess you just pull this little foam piece out. You get a towel, which is pretty pretty fluffy. I'm not going to use the towel. You get this applicator here, which is pretty small. Um, you get what looks to be a pair of gloves in here, which I already have gloves on. And I guess these are the applicators. Um, these little things here, they look like, uh, like a little, like a little towelette. So we'll just use their applicator. I mean, you don't really need to use this much for an applicator, but what the heck we have it, let's use it. So let's look at the instructions here. Okay. They have the questions here. What is a ceramic coating? What tools? Paint correction, very important. Small area test panel, how to apply Autocon ceramic coating on your whole car. Okay, so they're saying this has 9H hardness, up to one year durability, UV protection, ultimate gloss and shine, repels water, oil, and dirt. Um, we know what most of what the ceramic coating is. It says Auto, uh, Autocon ceramic coating can last a year or longer if well maintained and properly applied. It says there, uh, it just gives you the overall of what a uh, ceramic coating is. So it says extremely durable, one year of commercial application, hydrophobic, extremely hydrophobic, enhanced and vibrant gloss, UV protection, self clean properties. Okay. Uh, they tell you the tools you need for prepping your paint, which we all know how to do paint correction, your prep work, your prep wash, and all that. Uh, because I'm going to use NSP95, I don't need a, uh, a panel wipe. Okay, so they tell you how to do paint correction, and then here's the, the small area test panel. After paint correction, it's done. It's, it's time to apply ceramic coating uh, to the car surface with test panel. See page five for application method. Okay, so we'll open up both thing here. A small test panel should be about six inches by six inches, ideally in low visibility spot, such as the bottom of a door panel. When a coating begins to flash, it's time to remove the excess from the surface with a clean microfiber towel. Okay. 
question here about flash time. It says remove it too soon, the coating will be completely removed, compromised, and offer less protection. We know that. If you wait too long, of course, it's hard to remove. In a controlled environment, three minutes would be on average time for removing and buffing the coating. Once you move away from controlled environment, typically 75 degrees, with 40% humidity, that window drastically changes. For example, it's used Florida's climate at 95 and 70% humidity. You'd have around one minute before the coating begins to flash. And shortly after, the coating would become tacky and become almost impossible to buff and remove high spots. Uh, and they're talking about their flashes uh, oily sheen and become fully clear. So make sure the paint correction, okay, cover, okay, apply the coating to the car surface in a crosshatch pattern. As the coating begins to flash, begin buffing it, off, buffing it off with a clean microfiber cloth to remove any high spots from application. So um, typical coating things. So we'll use their applicator. It doesn't look very good. They wanted me to test this, and I'm going to be up front with you so, so the applicators don't look very good. I'd probably cut it. But again, I'd probably use a better applicator. So before we get to using this, I'm going to go ahead and, and get my panel polished. So let me get some other stuff. I need a towel to wipe this off because I'm not going to use this plush towel. Um, so let me just go ahead and get uh, some other supplies and then I'll come back to you uh, during the polishing step and then we'll come back with the application of this coating. So let me uh, put it on pause and get some other things and then we'll I'll come back to you. Okay, so now we're going to get to the polishing process here. And like I said, I'm going to polish this section here. And I'm not worried about taping any trim off because this does not stain trim. None of the Dr. Beasley stuff stains trim. So I'm just going to put a... Normally when I first prime the pad, I'll throw a couple dots on there, but you don't need that much with the Dr. Beasley stuff. And then I'll just uh, work it in here to the pad. Now again, I'm not going to clay the thing here, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, paint polish here. Well, then it's P95 just to kind of one-step it. And um, I'm using a Americana Global finishing pad. So I hopefully I have enough to charge on this tool. Do I? Yeah. So I'm going to load my pad. Do I have enough product in there? I pretty much do. one small dot on there and that's pretty much all I need um, these are not defects in the sail panel as I mentioned many times the, the this car and most 98 to 2002 Camaros and Trans Ams have a problem where the adhesive starts coming through the sail panel here and really the only way to fix it is to replace the entire sail panel
Okay, so I'm basically done polishing. We're not going super aggressive. All I'm really doing is removing the Z1 that's here from Dr. Beasley's, which, to, you know, actually kind of impressed me. Uh, every pill, everything I put on top of it. So never, nothing really bonded to that, which was pretty impressive. I should have tried paint here on top of Z1. Maybe next time. Z1 is a sheeting type of protection. So I'm not looking for perfection in here. I'm not even going to look at it with a light. So I don't care if there's defects in here because this coating that I'm going to put on from AutoCon, I'm not going to leave it on here for very long, you know, a month at most, uh, because I got some um, details coming up pretty soon for other stuff. Okay, so that's off. And so let's get to the coating process here. I'll crack open the bottle of uh, AutoCon. Is this the same thing as the Avalon King? The bottle sure looks similar. So we'll just shake it in here real quick. So it's got the, um, the little flip top on here, which is kind of neat. So you can lock this in. So this, I think this is the same as the uh, Avalon King. So let's take this applicator and Let's just use their applicator. I don't know how good it is. If it's, it stinks, then we'll change it out. So let me flip the cap here. And we'll throw a few um, drops in here. I'm just trying to get enough to prep the thing here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both my towels, up, towels over there and make sure I don't break anything over there. And then we'll apply it um, into this section here. So we'll put it on that part. Put that in the caddy for a second. While that's flashing, I'm gonna look at the uh, temperature. So at the moment it's 61. Where's the humidity here? We have 60% humidity, so not bad. Uh, it's really hard to tell well, this one flashes because it doesn't really tell showing me if it's rainbowing but it looks like it's already ready to be wiped off um, just kind of looking at it i'm using my finger so it looks like it's ready to be wiped off because it looks tacky yep so it doesn't take long to for it to tack up that wasn't even a minute probably because i have the air coming in Okay, get your secondary towel. And wipe it, the excess off. So yeah, it didn't um, take long for this thing to tack up. I just wanna make sure I have everything wiped off. So it has some decent slickness, at least underneath the towel right now. Uh, nothing can, nothing to write home about. I mean, it just doesn't feel like a typical coating. So let me see if I have enough in here. I'll just throw a couple more drops. Just one little, what was that, four, four or five drops to do this section here. And so I think if I do this... Put a puddle line in here and then... So we'll check out the Hydrophobics next uh, wash. But this thing flashes kind of quick. It's about 30 seconds or so. 
That's why I swipe my finger on a coating is, is to really tell if it's ready to be wiped off because sometimes these coatings you don't they don't give you an indication that they're that they're gonna flash on the paint. So if I swipe my finger on it, um, I can tell it's starting to to tack up uh, pretty well already. So at this point, I can basically say, yeah, let me wipe it off. And if the hydrophobics don't look good next time, then I know I wiped it off too soon, and then we'll come back and, um, and wipe it off here. Uh, maybe just a couple more seconds here. So it looks about, it looks like about 30 seconds to a minute. I'm gonna, I have the air coming into the garage too, so that's not helping. So I'm going to wipe it off right now because it's starting to tack up and I think I waited if you waited if I waited about another 30 seconds or so it would have been difficult to wipe off but I caught it just in time so you're gonna that's why I, I do the swipe test with my finger somebody was asking why am I swiping the coating with my finger well that's the reason why sometimes for these coatings that have long flash times that's when you um, it really comes in handy you know something like Gion Mo's, which sweats when it flashes. That's a nice indication that's ready to be wiped off. Same thing with uh, Crystal Serum Light. It does the same thing, and then some of these other coatings that rainbow. You know, once that rainbow starts to dissipate, it, it's basically time to wipe off. But sometimes these other coatings, like like the Jade stuff, and uh, you know, like PNS. Some, you know, they have the rainbowing effect and that kind of gives you a good indication of when it's time to wipe off. And as I was saying, like the Jade, they don't have a visual indication. And so you just do the swipe thing with your finger, just like I did with this one, like I did with Carpo Deluxe. And then that's when you know it's it's um, been wiped off. So I just want to kind of just show that. Uh, so far, the looks, I mean, it looks glossy because I have it over that, that freshly polished surface it feels pretty decent for the amount of slickness that's in here i mean it's not uh overly slick we're not talking like uh c quartz sic or anything like that and it's just not grabby you know, but that's the application for the autocon ceramic coating uh, so again you guys can tell me i think this is the same as the avalon king i'm not really sure uh, but again uh this is a ceramic coating. I don't know what the price is for this. Uh, I will link it if you guys want to try it. Uh, they sent this to me for free, so they reached out to me. I'll take a look at it next wash, and we'll see if, how hydrophobic it is. And if it has pretty good hydrophobics, maybe it's a good option. If And if it's cheap enough, maybe just try it and see if it's any good. But I wanted to try it on my car first before I try it on somebody else's car because I don't know the coating. I don't know how good it's going to be, and so I, right now I can't really put it on something and say, hey, you know, go and use it. So the next detail I have, you know, I have, I'm going to use a, a, a coating that's established versus something I don't really know too much about um, in its overall performance. So that's it for the coating for um, AutoCon. We're going to check it out next wash, check out the hydrophobic, see how it's, it's holding up. I'm only going to have it here for a really short term, probably about, you know, two to four weeks at most. And then this car's going to get polished. I'm putting pushing this, the polish aside because I have a car next week. And then I have uh, potentially a car after that and maybe another one after that. So I'm going to be kind of busy uh, for a while. Uh, if those other two don't pan out, then I will come back and do this one. Uh, but for sure, I have one more coming. We'll knock that one out. And uh, again, so stay tuned for updates on on this actually, I actually post the hydrophobic behavior on the next video on this same video for next time so I'll just make it longer I'll just condense it and I'll put uh, the hydrophobic behavior of this coating and then we'll just call it good and then I'll just post the uh, like final thoughts after the first wash and say hey you know is this gonna really last a year most of you top your coating so it's gonna last quite a bit of time and so we'll check it out we'll come back and so the next part is gonna be the hydrophobic behavior and then final thoughts so again thanks for watching and catch on the next part all right, hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is gonna be an update to the AutoCon Nano Ceramic Coating. 
<laughs> so number one, let me just get this out of the way. Sai, thank you for sending that to, this out to me. I appreciate you reaching out, asking if I'd be willing to try it out and test it out. Uh, the thing about this is Sai keeps sending me emails. If I tried it, if I tried it, if I tried it, uh, I didn't want to be rude to Sai. And basically uh, what I wanted to say is I think going on from, if I'm receiving products now, from various uh, companies in terms of like coatings or whatever, uh, rather than them constantly asking me if I've used it yet, I'm gonna tell them up front, when I put the video out, you will know that I used it. So, Sai, I didn't, I, um, I ignored your emails, I saw them coming through, but I uh, basically just wanna say, hey, when the, I'll tell you when the video's ready, and you watch it just like the rest of us, and then you'll know I used the coating. So that's going to be the plan going forward if anybody decides to send me uh, products to review is I'm going to tell them I'm going to put you in the queue. I will get to you when I get to you. When you see the video, that means that you know I'm done uh, because I do have a regular full-time job uh, and I do work more than 40 hours a week. So this detailing thing is more of a hobby uh, for me. And um, sometimes I just want to let the mind calm down and not have to generate content 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 if i don't have to you know so, so, so i do take breaks here and there uh, or else i'm going to get burnt out um, but just to kind of uh, some little background information i polished this section out here i can't remember if it was nsp 95 or 45 whatever nsp surface primer i polished it i put a layer of the autocon ceramic just on this uh, sail panel here so we're going to just take a look at the initial hydrophobics and we'll see if it's any good uh, I'm not going to keep this coating on long term because I had I have plans for this uh, for my Camaro in terms of using uh, wet paint coating and all of that. Uh, same thing with the Grand Prix. It's, I'm going to have I have plans, but that's till later on in the in the year, like in December time frame. Same thing for my dad's car. Uh, but for this Camaro, um, I've been pushing it back further because I've been you know like I said I had a, that Camry come in, and then I've, I'm working with uh, somebody else to see if they need to bring their car in. So this is just gonna get, this just keeps getting, this car keeps getting bumped down the line. So hopefully I can get this one out pretty soon and then show a little polishing session on this one. But again, AutoCon is on this sale panel. We'll take a look at the hydrophobics and uh, hopefully we make Cy happy with uh, getting this video out. Uh, now I am gonna tell you that I'm not gonna be using this long term. So we'll just take a look at it. Maybe I'll ask one of you if you guys wanna try it, um, you know, you can post back feedback. So I may just give it away. Um, and then again, you guys can just use it as you wish. So let me just get back to it. And then I'll show you the uh, hydrophobics. Uh, as I mentioned in my in my other video, I am gonna be using the S3 soap from Glass Parenting. This is their ceramic silica soap. And uh, based on my experience using the almost three quarters of this bottle, uh, it does not create a hydrophobic barrier. It does not alter your beading or anything like that. So we're gonna use that. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the performance of the product uh, initial and then post rinse and we'll see if it's uh, what the performance looks like and if it's something worth uh, investing. So let me get to that and then I'll come back with final thoughts on the AutoCon ceramic coating or at least initial thoughts. And then I'll probably give this one away to somebody if they want to try it out. I mean, it's 30 mil coating, do what you wish and you can have fun with it. So again, uh, stay tuned for that and uh, let me catch you on the next part. Okay, so I'm on this side. I've I got the car wet already because I was doing the other test spot here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and blast this. This is the initial rinse and we'll take a look and see what the coating is doing. That's pretty hydrophobic for the coating. So the, at least the initial hydrophobics look good for two weeks. That looks good. So let me just go ahead and uh, get to the foaming part and then I'm gonna wa rinse it off. And then uh, we'll come back at that point to see if the uh, wash process degrades the hydrophobic behavior or if it looks the same. So I'll come back with that. Uh, shortly Okay, so let's take a look at the Autocom coating here it had w4 on here So 
So that actually looks really good. That beading looks fantastic on here. Look at that tight beading. So that looks good. Uh, I don't even have to wash it in order for it to really show how good it is, but let's just take a wash mint. Actually, let me wash this entire surface. You can clearly see that the beading is not altered and I have beads within beads from the coating. So uh, initial impressions are good. I mean, it looks really good on, on there. So uh, let me just finish washing this and we'll get to initial thoughts or final thoughts on the AutoCon uh, ceramic coating. All right, hey everyone, welcome back. So this is gonna be the final thoughts on the AutoCon ceramic coating. Uh, again, they sell it through uh, Amazon. I didn't realize how much it was. So it's $24.99, $25 US. Uh, again, this is a cheap ceramic coating. Like I said, I didn't realize how much it was. I didn't do too much research into this. Uh, so I just kind of based it on, on the paperwork that was included here. Uh, then I just kind of looked it up today. I was like, how much is this thing? So then it's $25 for 30 mils. So it's pretty cheap for what, what you get in terms of price for a ceramic coating. Um, what I do want to mention is I'm not going to have long-term testing on the coating. Uh, so I'm only going to have it probably for about a month. Uh, but the, the initial hydrophobics look good on the product. Uh, it's not the most user-friendly application uh, because of the, you're going to have to play around with the flash times. If you wait too long, it's going to be a little bit harder to use. If you catch it on time, it, you can, it's easier to wipe off, but it's still going to be rather tacky. So, you know, have yourself a, a multiple towels when you use this. Um, so again, thanks to Cy for <coughs> um, reaching out, excuse me, uh, for, um, uh, to test out this product and his information is here if you want to reach out to him and uh, the instruction booklet um, so what I decided to do because I'm not going to be using this long term um, let me just put the towel back in here is I'm going to give this product to anyone that's in the local 48 states so if you're in the local 48 states I will gladly send you over this product and you can apply it to your vehicle and see if it's any good or apply it to a client's car um, you know feel free to do that as well uh, Again, it's got a one, it has a one-year claim, so uh, if you set it and forget it, you're probably going to get about six to eight months out of it. Uh, and if you maintain it, you're probably going to get longer than the one year, so that's typical coding, right? Um, but, um, you know, for $25, just based on what I'm seeing, I think it's pretty decent where you're going to get at least a year out of the coding, even when you if you maintain it. So, again, uh, that's pretty much all I have for the AutoCon ceramic coating. Uh, I don't know... Um, if this is the same as other coatings that use the same type of bottle here, but it doesn't really matter at that point. So, um, if anybody is in the local 48 states, send me an email. First person to send me an email will get this and claim this uh, ceramic coating, and um, you can have a, have a go at it and see if you like using this. But uh, you know, the application is is a uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, for what you get, you know, maybe you can use this on on your personal vehicle or something and uh, If you have a garage kept vehicle or if you have a family member that just needs a ceramic coating something cheap You can just put this on there uh, per, For me, I have plans for other coatings on my vehicle, so I, I'm, I don't have a need for this uh, But if anybody wants to give it a shot in local 48 states send me an email first come first serve uh, I will include uh, a Better applicator than what's included here with the suede's for a better overall experience uh, for application of the coating. So, again, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. I want to thank Cy for sending this out to me. Uh, overall, the product looks like it's uh, pr uh, pretty good. Um, I don't know. How can I say this? If I had a choice between C Quartz Light and Gian Can Coat, uh, I'd probably choose those because of the reputation that they have uh, over you know something like this because I really don't know the product that much. Uh, and if I had more experience with it, then I can judge for myself if it's going to fall 
and compete with you know like a C quartz light or a Gian can coat uh, in that terms of, uh, of performance so I'm not gonna have long-term performance I can't tell you not to buy this and I can't tell you to buy it but I'll just post a link to Amazon if you're interested just go ahead and purchase it if not name uh, move on and stick with uh, something else uh, that's the beauty of detailing is you have so many products look at all these other products I have here so um, check it out uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one